So we have our pads setting in between the rails. We'll have to pretend. The center saddle is in place. Now we're going to push the pads together. If you want to stand over here and watch the gap go together. Of course, between the rails, they would slide straight. Now we have them pushed together, but they're still a small seam. So we can do one of two things. We can pound them together, or with a backhoe or a machine, we can push them together. I'll show you the back of the mall up top. Now the seam is almost closed, but it's still a little bit there. We'll collect that with the rods. I place the center stabilizer rods on top of the panels and take the coupler off. Place the other rod through the holes. Do that to both of them. Threads are reverse threaded. Just get them started. You can feel the rods and just turn, they'll start right in. It's a force thread. Now, Brian, are the center couplers the only ones that are reverse threaded, or is the entire rod system throughout the crossing? The entire rod system will be reverse threaded. Finish taking up the slack by hand. Then you can use a power wrench. We do not have one in sight, so we're doing a manual way. You can probably pause this one too. This one. As I draw them in, it pulls the centers together. Notice the gap has been completely eliminated. Three. I'm getting ready to set the next pad in. Just wanted you to notice there is a relief in here that lets the end of the rod set up tight against the rubber. And then the top part of the pad will make a watertight seal up here to keep the water from running down in between the rails. As you can see, I put a rod through the pad before we headed up against the next pad. And there's about a two and a half inch gap in between there. That's why we need to get the pads as close as possible before trying to start the rods into the next rod. I'm going to show you here how we can get the rod started. I left the pad back just a little bit. Normally it would be further out. And now I got the rod started. I need to sit, seam up that gap, so I'll hit it in with the ball. And then we have the same process as we had before. Tighten up the rods until the seam goes through. Faster. The gap on this side has been eliminated. As you can see with the seam fairly closed, you can go in a long way with the rod before you have to start with the tool. This speeds up the process.
get this with a 17 inch half inch drive breaker bar. But obviously a big one inch drive pneumatic tool would be much better. You'll repeat these same steps except the field panels during the installation.